Hey everybody, this is Daniel Fox. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Game Master Folio, uh, which will uh, be on sale, I believe, in just a few short days. So our Game Master Folio, um, you know, essentially what this answers for is well, Game Masters have a lot to track when they play a game as a Whitehander, from combat to initiative to chase scenes to wilderness travel, but they also have other needs like creature creators and NPC creators and tracking conspiracies and all kinds of fun stuff. So we we developed this because we felt it was a kind of a necessary tool. Sorry for the for the focus issue there. But we felt it was kind of a necessary tool for game masters. So we created this and you can see on the very front here um, that it says, you know, Game Master Folio, the complete record of a Grimm Perilous campaign called. And you'll notice it's big it's blank. Well, this is actually free to write your campaign name in. So because I'm currently running Queen of Embers, I'm going to write Queen of Embers in. So I'm going to do this with a permanent marker, Queen of Embers. And forgive my terrible handwriting. I'm writing kind of upside down here. Um, one thing that's really cool about this folio as well is that much like our other materials that we have in the Zweihander line, <clears throat> it's soft touch. Um, so you'll it, it feels soft just like the covers of our books both on the front and on the back uh, it is soft cover obviously but there's actually we did that for an intention because we wanted to make it inexpensive for people to, for, for game masters to pick up but we also wanted to ensure that it was able to be opened easily so if we start to go inside now here's obviously the print matter up front you know Anderson Peel publishing is the publisher on all of my inner products now. We have our credits page. Um, this was originally designed by Ken Duquette, uh, but the new version is designed by Sierra Stanton, um, which uses a lot of the, what, what, what Ken had stepped out initially. So we open up obviously with a big kind of image to evoke, you know, like what's happening like your game master, your world's a game master, you have your player characters, and you're the one who's basically kind of telling the story. So um, that image kind of opens everything up. And then we have just kind of a first opening page here with campaign notes. So uh, my plan tonight is to transpose some of the notes from Queen of Embers, the ones that are most important at least to put here. Um, and this paper, by the way, is premium seven, 70 pound stock. So uh, it's you can't really see through it, which is good, it's nice, it feels as good as the interior of our other books, high quality stock. Um, the borders are kind of rough looking, which we had designed by Ken uh, in the original ones. And then we kind of continue moving on to our conspiracy overview. And we have this big, beautiful web of conspiracy uh, flowchart that basically you can pencil in uh, different numbers here, including the person who's the center of the conspiracy. You can begin to show dispositions between each group using these, this legend down here that follows the same uh, the same kind of uh, framework we've showed in Spyhander. Um, but obviously these circles are meaningless unless you know who exactly who they are. So as you kind of get into here, you can start to see like major NPC. Maybe NPC is number five, and you put who their name is, what their motivation, their social class, or disposition. You circle their alignment, if they're, if they're order aligned or cast aligned, then you write some details about them right here in the notes. So you have plenty of room to basically track all of the major NPCs uh, across a conspiracy. But you know, of course you can use this for other things too, because we know that conspiracies are the center of a lot of adventures, but it isn't necessarily every uh, campaign. So you can still use this to track all of your NPCs regardless, even if you don't intend to use the conspiracy rules from Mongosh. And we've included plenty of room to, I think I believe we can accommodate up to, I want to say 18 different NPCs. But also we have the conspiracy tracker, uh, including the revelations. This was a big uh, kind of thing we felt was a gap uh, in from tracking. We didn't really have anything like this previously. So we started to write down, you know, like you created this thing where you basically have your clue and here's what the player characters deduce from the clue and here's the lead they determined. And obviously nine clues and three leads determines a revelation. And any good conspiracy has three major revelations uh, that will eventually lead to um, the center of the conspiracy. So moving on, um, we then move on to combat trackers. And I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit so you can see. Uh, you know, you can see you have your initial bladder, your characters, their current damage condition track, condition and injuries. You can use this to basically put in all of your NPCs or foes to track within here, or even the player characters. If you really wanted to track everything that's happening in the game, you could certainly do that. 
Um, but this is intended for you to basically track all of your NPCs, their current conditions, and whatnot. Then we move on to the chase scene tracker, uh, which is pretty neat. Let's see if we can get a little bit of focus here. Uh, sorry for that. Um, but this is basically a way for you to track chase scenes. Let's bring it in here a little bit so you can see. Yeah, there we go. So you have your escape condition you put up here. It's either three, six, or nine. You write down all the character names at the top, including their brawn buzz, because they could you know, potentially gas out while they're chasing. And then you track the escape and pursuit values down here. And we've included two sheets, I believe, here uh, for you to chase. Sorry, four sheets, my apologies, uh, to, to track chasings. And naturally, this book pulls apart if you want to, or you, if you buy the physical book, just drop me an email at daniel at I'll get you a copy of the PDF for free with purchase of the book. So you can just print your own out if you'd like. Then we have wilderness travel trackers. Uh, so you have your different stretches, basically. What's the destination they're going to? How long is that? How long is the destination? Is it a short, is it a short stretch? Is it, you know, is it a long stretch? How many toughness tests it requires? What's the threat level? Including the characters and the roles they select between the guide, the survivalists, and the scout. And I really wish this camera would focus in. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, it's not really willing to uh, cooperate here. Um, but uh, you can get kind of a good idea of what's going on. Here we go. There. Focus, focus. Okay. There we go. And then we move on. Uh, we've got, I believe, another sheet of uh, wilderness travel to track as well. And this whole book, by the way, comes in, I think, around, I want to say, 40 pages. So there's plenty of trackers in here for you to use. Uh, then we move on to the social intrigue tracker. So we know that uh, there are simple intrigues and complex intrigues uh, in Zweihander. So here you can track player characters, you can track NPCs, you can track their current temperament, their social class, their alignments, the uh, temperaments that are generated by the player characters for you as a game master to use as a role-playing tool. Um, we have that in here as well, and we have four of those. Then we move on to our NPC profile. Um, this is, so we, cr we previously created one of these for Mongosh. And, and it works, it's nice. Uh, but we realized that we wanted to carry forward some of the new design precepts that Sierra had introduced uh, into our Zweihander line. So we, she recreated basically the sheet uh, that we had before uh, for NPCs, for whenever you create your own custom NPCs, which follows the same kind of Mad Lib style that you have for player characters, including all your tracking at the bottom. Uh, where you can put your traits, talents, and trappings and the NPC portrait if you choose to draw one. And I believe we have two of these in here. Yep, we do. And then move on to our uh, creature creator. So in Mongosh, as you already know, if, in case you don't know for that matter, uh, we introduced the idea of like, here's how you can create your own custom creatures. Um, we didn't want to release a new beast here. We thought instead we would give game masters the tools to create their own stuff. And that's what this serves as. Uh, this is a sheet for you to be in to plug in everything as you create your own custom creatures using Mongosh. And like the NPC creator sheet, uh, this has all the necessary fields for you to use. And of course, this is all in high quality paper. There's, li there's no bleed through on the pages. It's super, super nice. Um, creature creator once again here. And we're almost toward the end of the book now. Uh, we also wanted to create vehicle trackers. Um, this is super cool because what we did recently was we actually took this we tore this page out and cut it in half and gave players the name of their vehicle where they could track their vehicle thresholds and the stuff about their vehicles because vehicles are kind of like characters. It's like an extension of the character. Um, and we want players to track their own vehicles and such. So you could do this as a game master. You could tear these out and give them to a player. You can get the PDF and print it out and give it to the player, whatever you want to do. But this just felt necessary because this is one thing that was kind of missing from Mongo that we wanted to to really put in the hands of game masters and players because vehicle combat is a really fun suite of options we introduced in a Mongosh um, and it's just a, it's super cool. We really love it. And then obviously with our last vehicle tracker. And then that's the end of the game master folio. So uh, this this game master folio once again uh, published by Enders McMeal Publishing, uh, the new publisher for Zweihander products. Uh, also where I currently work as a creative director. Um, this uh, is once again soft touch cover, high, you know, uh, 70 pound paper, super, super high quality paper. Come on, focus. The uh, camera's not wanting to really work with me here. Um, but the Game Master Folio 
uh, currently, uh, right now, uh, is going to be released for $14.99, I want to th say, is what the price is on it. And once again, it is meant to be used over the course of a complete campaign. So be sure to write your campaign name at the very top when you first get it. Um, you can buy this, I believe, at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Waterstones, Books A Million, IndieBound, your favorite local gaming store, practically everywhere. And we'll also be taking this with us to PAX Unplugged. Uh, if you don't want to buy online, you'd rather come and meet us and uh, pick one up yourself. And it is super, super high quality, even for being soft cover. Uh, that matte, rubbery cover that we have in all of our hardback books is carried forward in our print-on-demand products as well. Um, and this is why Ender is a really, really cool product uh, that you can get right now on Amazon for $14.99. So check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do another one as well for the character portfolio soon, as well as Dark Astral, which will come out. That small chapbook that's kind of Dune inspired. It will come out, I believe, toward early to mid-December. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.